So here we go again inside Streamable and OBS. Welcome back to another video, guys. I'm Total Signals. Hope you're doing all right. Going to show you how to do this today. Exclamation lurk in the chat on Twitch or OBS, and then you'll see a picture of whoever wrote it in the chat pop up on the screen. Small delay and then disappear again. So in order to do that, we need to jump into Streamable as always, and we need to set up a bunch of commands. Here's the one that I've got here for lurk for the purpose of today's video. I'm just going to set up a brand new one. So first job, make sure you're in the actions tab. To the bottom find a gap right click add and then we're going to be adding an action okay so today we're going to call this one test because i'm just going to run a test for you guys to show you how to do this we're not going to bother about a group and we're just going to press okay there's our test command right here okay now in the sub actions we need to right click add action we just move this across a little bit right click add action once again we need to make sure twitch is linked to your streamer bot if you haven't done that there's a video on my page go and check that out down here we need to go to twitch and then we need to get user info for target that a click leave that on user leave the variable and hit OK. Next, we need to jump into OBS and create a browser source scene. I use nested scenes. If you don't know how to do that, there's a video also on my page as well. So we've got the name of the scene, Tester, and we're going to hit OK. That's going to make this screen go black, so I'm going to disappear. And then inside this scene, we need a browser. So we're going to put in a browser source. There's a browser source right there. We're just going to leave it browser. And we're going to do it 300 by 300, because that's the standard size or profile picture on Twitch, right? There's our profile picture from obviously from obs because that's what the browser source is set to now you don't need to mess around with the url or anything like that just leave it as is just like that okay and then we need to go back to our gaming scene or whatever scene it is that you want this to show on for me today i'm using desktop then you can see me and i can explain what's going on to you so inside here we've just created that scene which is down here at the bottom called tester we'll move it to the top order move to the top and then we can see what we're doing there's the tester there and it's got the browser source inside so it's a nested scene isn't it so uh, we're going to go back to the desktop inside here we're going to pull up a scene we're going to go for our nested scene called tester this is all in alphabetical order so down to tester add tester and okay there's our browser source now over the top of our desktop scene i use four main scenes i've got gaming desktop chatting and a mixed scene so today we're working on the desktop so we've got our browser source here it's active as you can see and then next we need to go over to here again inside streamer bot we've already got one for our target for who redeemed right click add action this time we need to go to obs and we need to set browser source url once that browser source URL comes up, go to the scene that you're on. Then you need to find the scene where you put the thing. So we called it tester. So there's tester because it matches up down here. And then the source is the browser source, which is that right there. In the URL folder here, we need to type in a few things. It actually tells you down here what to type in this URL. So you want the prefixes at percentage at the start and finish. And we need to type in percentage, target user profile image url make sure you use the capitals where it says to use capitals percent target user profile image url and then percent again just as it's explained right down here they can test this but it says it won't work but it will okay so we're just gonna trust me it works next we're going to add in the browser source so then it can be seen and unseen so again we're adding action we're going down to obs set source visibility state this one here we've used it before um the scene we're using desktops so we'll leave it on desktop and the source is tester that's all correct and visible so we do that next we add a delay so for this one i'm just going to use five seconds so again it's times by a thousand so just five thousand milliseconds next we duplicate this one bring it down here double click like we did in the last video and just change it from visible to hidden now this is set up at target info for who redeemed. So that'll grab the profile picture off Twitch or for whoever wrote Lurk in the chat. Uh, we've got the OBS browser source. So it's going to pull up the browser source URL, which is what we put inside OBS. And then we've got it to show, a delay, and then hide. So we'll give that a quick click there and make sure it's saved. Next, we need to set up a chat command to make this work. So we need to jump across into the commands chat. And then in here, we need to right click and add a chat command. So the chat command for this, I'm just going to call it exclamation test. And then in the actions tab here, I'm just going to choose test, which is at the top right here. And make sure this box is ticked here again, like I explained in the last video. If you haven't got this box ticked, it might not recognize what you're saying to activate it. So just make sure this box is ticked here. Ignore bot account, okay? And press OK. So there's our test alert all set up. 
Now we're going to make it hide inside OBS so it's completely gone. We should be able to type in exclamation test into the chat and this should pop up if we've done everything right with a profile picture of me because I'm the one that typed it into the chat. Does that make sense? And there we go, we've typed it in and there's a profile picture of me because I'm the one that typed it into the chat. Now in order to make this look a little bit better, we can go back into the actions, we can increase the delay. So instead of 5,000, we'll have 10,000. So that's 10 seconds that the profile picture will be on the stream for. And then when we next show it, it'll last a little bit longer on the screen. And then also if you right click it on OBS down here, tester, and go to show transition, we can add a transition to get it to come into the screen or to leave the screen. So for me, I just want a slide. So I just wanted to slide in from the left, press OK, and then the high transition, I wanted to slide down. So the high transition, slide, change this from left to down. Next time we type it in the chat, it should pop in from the left hand side, move across the screen. I'm just going to lock it here to get rid of this red box. It should move in from the side inwards and then drop straight down because we've added them transitions in. So test once again, exclamation test, hit enter in the chat, in slides my picture. Obviously you can make this whatever size you want. It'll have a 10 second delay because we've got a delay up here of 10,000 milliseconds and then it will slide back down. Ding dong, profile pictures popping up on stream inside OBS. Now I've set this up, this OBS visibility source here to desktop and this one here is desktop. Like I was saying previously as well, I use four main screens while streaming. So I've got my gaming screen, which is right here. I've got my desktop if I want to show my chat as anything on my computer. And then I've got a just chatting screen, which is just here. And then I've got some kind of 3D mixed screen. So these are my four main screens. When I showed you the lurk command at the beginning of mine, that's why it's so big because every time that I add it to another scene, I need to add it in here as another scene. So as you can see, I've got game in here, game in there, desktop, desktop, chatting, chatting, mixed and mixed. So wherever you want this to happen inside OBS, just make sure you're adding the scene. So in here we've got tester. So if I jump into gaming, I haven't got a tester, so it's not gonna work. So we need to add the nested scene that is tester. We need to add it in there and we can hide it again. But then we also need to add it in here because at the moment it's only showing up for desktop. So we can just duplicate this, move it up, change it from desktop to gaming scene because now I'm on the gaming scene, gaming scene, tester, visible. And then we duplicate this one as well. We change it from desktop to gaming once more. And then we change it from, oh yeah, we'll leave it on hidden because that's the hide command yet. So now we've got it on two scenes. We've got it on the desktop scene and the gaming scene. So let me type it testing in the chat once more for you. And now it shows up on this scene as well as the other scenes. There it is up there. It's a different shape because it's nested scenes. We can do what we want with it. So there it is up there in the chat. Should have now, I've just typed in lurk instead of test. So let me type in test. And it should pop up down here on the bottom of the screen. There you go. And then you can do what you want with this test. You can shape it, place it where you want because we use nested scenes. So on desktop, it'll be down here. On the gaming screen, it'll be up there in the middle, wherever you put it. So for every scene that you want this on, you need to duplicate it in here. So that's why we need four for me because I use four main scenes. So I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate these once more. Duplicate test of visible. This one I'm going to set to chatting. So we'll change it to chatting, lurkers, visible, and then the hide one, duplicate this. Change it from gaming to chatting. Does that make sense? Chatting, lurkers, hidden. So even if I'm in my just chatting scene now, and I type in test, it still should come up, and we should still be able to see it on all the scenes that we can. Here we go, he's up here on this one, nice and small. But then obviously if we go back to gaming, he's in the middle. And if we go back to desktop, he's on the right hand side down here as well. That's the power of nested scenes. Check my page for more videos about nested scenes. Really, really useful inside OBS. You can do anything you want with them. Move all your sources, move all your scenes around. Really, really good. All different shapes and sizes, add shaders, filters, all that good stuff. So there we have it. Obviously for this test, I used test. But for you, you can use any command you want. In my stream, I've obviously got exclamation lurk because that's the kind of thing that people like to type in Twitch. So instead of writing exclamation test, and obviously in the commands, you need to write exclamation lurk like i have here i just use test for the purpose of this video so hopefully now you can pull up profile pictures from people on twitch in your chat too and put that on your screen and impress your viewers i hope you found this useful if you did let me know by smashing that like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see you on the next one
Take signals out.